It finally happened. After 11 years and hundreds of thousands of us asking, nay, begging, for MGM to be sold to another studio so that Stargate may once again breathe life, it has finally happened. Amazon, in a blockbuster deal, paid $8.5 billion for the 97-year-old studio, its 4,000 film library, and more than 17,000 episodes of television. This is a huge deal for Amazon, but for Stargate fans, this is not just a huge moment, but it is the moment we've been waiting for. For several years now, we've been explaining why Stargate being chained to MGM is a death sentence for the future of the science fiction franchise we love and adore. And today we can rejoice because our chains are broken. With Amazon's incredible cash flow, Stargate is going to be one of the biggest benefactors from this new deal. We've gathered all the facts and put them together for you here. The stars have aligned perfectly after a decade of waiting and everything points to Stargate being a new series on Amazon quickly. But before we start the celebration and share everything we know, please take a moment now to subscribe and give us a thumbs up to show how excited you are for our new Stargate overlords at Amazon. Also, click the notification bell to never miss a video because YouTube has a short memory. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Stargate graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. Fans who have followed the Stargate story closely since it was taken off the air in 2011 understand what a big deal it is that MGM was bought by Amazon. Since their bankruptcy and the abrupt end of the Stargate franchise, the legendary Hollywood studio has been wishy-washy about restarting the property, and the fandom has grown sick riding the emotional roller coaster MGM has built. Despite being disappointed by the studio's lack of action, thanks to the 2017 Stargate fan temperature test, known as the Stargate Command Streaming Service, we know that MGM doesn't think of Stargate as a dead franchise, and neither will Amazon. According to insiders, Stargate Command Subscription Service was MGM's initial test to gauge fan interest in the franchise. With streaming becoming the future, this was a clever way to not only find out if fans were still interested, but also raise money to create a new Stargate series risk-free. The service was launched in the wake of an announcement that a new 10-part web series, Stargate Origins, would live exclusively on the platform. While exciting news for fans, Stargate Command quickly got a bad rap for having constant issues with their service. Also, Stargate was already available on Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon, and people weren't sure they wanted to pay for a new service to watch content they already had access to. So when Stargate Origins' 10 10-minute episodes were released in 2018, fans were not only underwhelmed by the service, they were underwhelmed by the content as well. And MGM was underwhelmed by the lack of paid subscribers to their service. According to people close to the project, MGM didn't feel they would get a return on their investment based on the estimated 75,000 subscribers who had paid for a Stargate Command subscription. The studio put Stargate back on the shelf, and fans' questions were met with silence. And as the silence went from months to years, like a child who has just realized their pet is not actually at some happy farm, the slow realization that Stargate was now dead to MGM started to set in. But it was only dead because MGM couldn't afford to take a chance on it. The reality was that MGM needed about $50 million to produce one season of a conservatively budgeted Stargate show. Remember that number, because it is going to be an important reason why we believe a new Stargate series will be one of the first MGM products out of Amazon. But let's get back to that in a moment. Following the Stargate Command debacle, fans kept their fingers crossed that a streaming service like Netflix or Amazon would sweep in and rescue the franchise. Then, out of nowhere, Stargate television creator Brad Wright announced that he was talking with MGM, and that spark lit a flame of hope in the fandom. More time passed, and a couple of Stargate Twitter storms and a Save the Gate campaign was launched by fans to get the attention of a studio. Yes, MGM, but any studio. Shortly after that, Brad tickled the community with small Twitter hints that he was working on something. 
After breaking down Brad's mysterious tweets and cross-referencing it with other information, we were able to gleam that he was indeed working on a Stargate project. Then, a recent podcast with him and Michael Shanks revealed that Brad was writing the Daniel Jackson character into his project. Excitement in the fandom was growing. And most recently, Amanda Tapping revealed she had been asked by Brad if she was interested in being in his new Stargate project, reprising her role as Samantha Carter. Statements like these sound like a foundation is being built for a project that is on its way to production. But something was still wrong. Why was Brad working on New Stargate if MGM had been shopping themselves around to be sold and most people believed it was just a matter of time before the right deal fell into place? Hold on to that thought for a second. Rumors that Apple TV was close to a deal to buy MGM have been floating around since 2018 when MGM CEO Gary Barber was fired. According to the Wall Street Journal, MGM had a market value of about $5.5 billion at that time. It was reported that MGM board chair Kevin Ulrich said he could sell MGM for more than $8 billion in two or three years, and well, apparently he was right. And through all of this, Brad was still writing. What did he know? Well, here is what we know. Brad Wright doesn't work on projects hoping something will happen. He is extraordinarily accomplished, and he could have easily washed his hands of Stargate and looked back on it as a shining moment in his career. At 60 years old, Brad has a limited number of years left, and he isn't going to waste it on a project he doesn't know will likely get made. The only reason to start seriously creating new Stargate stories is that he knows it's going to get made. We believe Brad knew it was only a matter of time before MGM would be sold to someone with enough cash to bring Stargate back. Also, despite the studio's mishandling of the property, there are people inside MGM who really love the Stargate franchise and want it to succeed. People who spoke with Brad and gave him assurances they could develop something together. While the decision hasn't been made about whether Amazon will pull MGM into the fold or let it operate independently, those MGM employees that support Stargate will likely be involved with advising Amazon on what to launch first. And what will Amazon ask them? What do you guys have ready to launch now? Amazon will be looking for an immediate return on investment, and the properties with large fan bases that are easy to get going will get greenlit first. This is why Stargate should be the first MGM property up to bat for Amazon. Amazon is clearly preparing for liftoff. Jeff Blackburn, who is credited with helping build Amazon with Jeff Bezos, was brought back two weeks before the MGM purchase to serve as vice president of their newly created global media and entertainment unit. Amazon is bringing in the big guns, and they are going to bring as much high-level original content as they possibly can as quick as they can. And this is the beauty with Stargate. Amazon will not have to start from scratch. Brad has been developing the show, the original actors are ready to return and reprise their roles, and the price tag for Stargate is good. Remember that $50 million we mentioned earlier for a season of Stargate? Amazon recently announced they were spending $465 million just for one season of a Lord of the Rings series. Half a billion dollars? Or a TV show. Somebody bring Stargate yeah. back. For How in the world is there not a Stargate <laughs> show? That's an incredible number. And for a little more than 10% of that, they can produce an entire Stargate season quickly. Other MGM content is going to require Amazon to find showrunners, develop scripts, and begin production from the beginning. But with Stargate, Brad Wright is the showrunner, and the ink is already drying on the scripts. Stargate alumni are ready to come back to act and direct. Longtime Stargate producers like Joseph Malazzi are chomping at the bit to return with Brad to the franchise. With Stargate, Amazon has a snowball already at the top of the hill. Everyone else is trying to figure out where the snow is. All the hype is being written about what Amazon will do with properties like James Bond. And while the idea of a James Bond universe television show sounds wonderful, Bond is co-owned by people who have decision-making power over that content. 
so it's going to take time to develop anything related to Bond into a series. MGM has been heavily focused on movies like Creed 3, Tomb Raider 2, Robocop Returns, a Pink Panther reboot, and Legally Blonde 3. But those are all movies, and Amazon is going to be looking to launch more series to keep pace and pull ahead of Netflix. Amazon is going to be looking at properties like Fargo, Vikings, The Handmaid's Tale, Twilight Zone, and yes, Stargate. With Fargo, series creator Noah Hawley said season five is coming, but he's not in a place where he's writing that yet. Fargo is something Amazon should continue, but they aren't even thinking about season five yet. This makes Stargate the obvious choice to be the first MGM property to make a new series for. Brad Wright's new Stargate series, as confirmed by Malazi, will be a new show set within the established Stargate universe that would appeal to new fans, but also reward long-suffering fans with guest appearances, cameos, Easter eggs, and the answer to many of our burning questions from the first three series of the franchise. It is expected that the story will take off after Stargate Atlantis. Malazi also confirmed that a new series would answer the question of what happened to the the Destiny crew from Stargate Universe. Amazon will not be able to pass up on greenlighting this fully fleshed out series that will have fans lining up to subscribe to Prime in order to watch it. So Amazon, if you're watching, we're ready. And more than two million Stargate fans who've been waiting more than a decade are ready. It's time to dial the gate. The Stargate stars are aligned, the right people are in place, and stories are ready to be made. The next move is yours. Are you excited to have the fourth series in the Stargate franchise launch on Amazon? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, check out this Stargate-inspired graphic design at Mixtees.com and get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. Don't want the show to end? Become a podcast member by hitting the join button to get exclusive content, including special member live streams, Discord privileges, behind the scenes access, and so much more. Click join and let's hang out. Also, make sure you head over and subscribe to the Popcast Unleashed for discussions, updates, clips, and other special videos. Until next time.